In the spotlight today, an affordable all-in-one soldering slash hot air station, the JCD8898. Combining versatility with affordability, the 8898 definitely is one worth looking at. JCD was sent in from Banggood. Thanks for providing it for the review. So there's basically two components to the JCD8898. On the left, you have your soldering iron and on the right, you have the hot air station. So it's kind of neat that they combined two uh, really useful tools in the electronics biz into one unit. Also get your basic soldering stand. This is kind of old school, I would say. Uh, opens up into a standard little flip stand and you have that sponge as well. Now, I'm not a big proponent of sponges. I don't use them myself when I'm soldering, but hey, your mileage may vary, whatever works for you. Um, yeah, that's it, that's all. It goes like that, stick your iron on top. And who's your daddy? As far as the hot air gun is concerned, it's very generic in nature. Uh, we see this on a gazillion different units. One nice thing with this unit is it does have that automatic cooling function. So when you put it down on the base, it will automatically go into self cooling mode. Now you wanna keep that machine running until it is actually done cooling because what happens is if you turn it off too fast, you do have, or you do risk at least, uh, burning part of the base. So let it cool down. It's gonna prolong the life of the hot air gun and it's safer as well. You get three different tips for different soldering applications, uh, a large, medium, and a small head, either one depending on what you're desoldering uh, or soldering for that matter. Um, so that's really handy dandy. Would have been nice to actually have that soldering iron stand attached to the unit itself, um, but well, that's not the case. So what can you do? Looking closer at that soldering iron, we do have that ceramic style insert. Size wise, we're looking at around a 3.7 millimeter um, diameter, 25.2 millimeters in length. One of the nice things about this JCD is the fact that you can easily replace the tips. They're 900 MT compatible, so you can basically buy them anywhere and they're really inexpensive. Simply unscrews and there you go. Once again, you wanna get a tip that is definitely designed for the work that you're doing. So a standard conical style tip like this is great for general soldering, but if you wanna get into that Titan nasty little SMD stuff, it's not gonna do the trick. You need something more, more um, precise. So yeah, you have a huge range with those 900 MT selection tips. Um, beauty. Standard ceramic inlay here, and really this is the juxt of the iron. You have a nice recessed handle, which I like. It does say ESD safe, electrostatic discharge. You have a solid rubber inlay here to keep your fingers nice and cool. You don't wanna get toasty when you're soldering. And as well, if you look at that strain relief on the back, um, really nicely done here. This is really, really in there for the long term. So I think you can do a lot of wear and tear before any uh, breakage is gonna happen. So. Yeah, good job. Here we've got the three pin connector. That's for the soldering iron. And we have the eight pin for the hot air gun. So no worry about getting those confused. On the other side of the unit, you have two on off switches, uh, rocker style switches. The top is for the soldering iron, the bottom for the hot air gun. There is our standard, uh, well, this is for North America, at least our 110 volt uh, connector. And as well, we have a fuse holder here. And so you need a little screwdriver just to get in the little groove, just give a pull and the fuse assembly comes out like so. So the good folks at JCD gave us not one, but two fuses in the unit. One is in storage, as you can see in the little assembly, and one is actually being utilized when you insert it. So very nice. Fuses themselves are five by 20 millimeters, glass fuses, and they have a rating of 10 amps, 250 volts. Also on the other side of the unit, you have a mesh grill here, and this is just to provide some cooling because you've got a uh, triac right there um, on a heat sink, and that is what is gonna get really hot eventually. So it's nice to have that cooling going on here. Yes, it's passive, but uh, good thinking. Finally, the unit is wall mountable. That's right, you can solder on the wall. Well, you know what I mean. Um, it comes with a neat little bracket, it simply goes on. You have a couple of Phillips screws and I'll give you a quick look at what that looks like shortly. All in all, a pretty compact, uh, well-designed little package, at least I think so. Um, now let's see how it is in terms of actual usability. Here's a really cheap package of tips. I picked this up for next to nothing online 
And uh, once again, these will work with this unit. Uh, just put on top like that, and there you go. So suddenly you have a huge range of soldering potential here. And once again, this was literally peanuts. So really nice, versatile, 900 MT compatible. Awesome. To connect the soldering iron, it simply goes into the plug like that. Give it a couple of twists and it is nice and secure. Same thing with the hot air station. Uh, it's a no brainer really, do it with your eyes closed. And you are ready for action. This is a different hot air gun from a different station, but you can see how important it is to have good strain relief on the ends of these uh, instruments because, well, yeah, look what happens. And that was not used abused. Believe you me, that was pretty gently used and uh, already it's starting to crack. Um, here on the JCD unit, you have a different style. It's a shorter end, which I think is gonna be a little bit better in terms of overall longevity. As well, you have a pretty thick gauge wire here, so, Generally speaking, I'm thinking, I'm hoping it's going to last much better. Don't forget, you're not relegated to use just this type of stand. If you don't feel comfortable with it, you want something a little more heavy duty. Um, online, you have a dozen different choices, a gazillion different choices, really. Um, I picked up this one for maybe 15 bucks, all metal housing. And uh, yeah, for me, it just works really well. There's a few hidden features as well with the soldering iron. Um, for instance, if you want to change from Celsius to Fahrenheit, simply hold down on these two buttons, turn the on switch on the top one, and it'll bring you basically into a different type of calibration mode. So you can go from Celsius to Fahrenheit, back to Celsius, whatever you prefer. Just turn on the unit and you can see the red LED is flashing. That's just telling us that it is regulating that temperature. So I've got it set to 622 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, let's just see how accurate it is. It doesn't take long, about 15 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds really, to get to your uh, ambient temperature. Here we go. So we're showing 622 degrees and we're getting a reading a little bit higher, about 640 degrees. So about almost oh, 20 degrees or so higher than we expected. Now we do have a calibration feature as well for that temperature. So simply hold down on those two and we wanna bring that temperature down by I'd say 20 degrees. All right. So let's see if that's gonna make a difference. Okay, so after a quick calibration, you can see we're definitely closer, uh, almost at that 622 degrees Fahrenheit. In fact, we might just get there almost. So yeah, you do have that extra functionality. Um, it's hidden, but it's there. All right, next up, some hot air action. I've got the smallest of the tips here, and I'm gonna try a, a couple of SMD caps, see how good it is. Okay, so I turned the unit on, and we're gonna increase that hot air temperature. Um, now, always with uh, non-leaded components, you're gonna have to have a higher heat uh, component because, unfortunately, it takes a lot of heat to melt these suckers. Let's see how good it is here. I'm So pretty quick to get up to temperature, as you can tell, and that flashing LED is telling us that it's basically ready for action. So here we go. As well as the heat component, you wanna definitely make sure that your fan is blowing. So we're on 10 right now, which is basically maximum. All right, gonna try removing the small SMD capacitor here just on the end of that PCB. And yeah, and there you go. When you're done with the hot air gun, put it back on the stand and it's gonna go into an auto shutdown mode. It takes about eh, 30 seconds to a minute and it's gonna turn off automatically. This is a really important step 
don't forget it because if you don't you have a risk of overheating that handle and yeah meltdown one of the definitely cool aspects to this soldering station is the fact that you can wall mount it that's correct a couple of phillips screws and voila you are plugged into the wall well you're not plugged in you're hanging on by a screw or two but it works it works really well and it's really solid um yeah i didn't go in anywhere so very nice and i gotta say this is truly handy already right now we're about 328 degrees celsius here we go So no problems there. Nice and smooth beads. Yeah, looking good. Finally, let's verify the ground on the soldering iron. Wires are tucked in nice and neatly here. Uh, no worries there. Uh, looking good. Small PCB with all of the ground wires attached and uh, the other mechanism feeding through to the element itself. Here is the ground. Ooh, that's hot. Here's the main element. That's what attaches to the ceramic core itself. Uh, we have our grounding going here as well as our positive negative. Um, yeah, so looks good. Really not much to these things as you can see, but uh, at least everything is grounded and uh, nicely tucked away. And uh, yeah, no worries here. Also, the fan assembly has a rubber inlay, which just gives you a better direction airflow here and uh, probably helps keep things cooler as well um neat just check the grounding on that hot air gun as well have the uh, one end attached to the ground of the ac plug yeah no worries there we go starting off with the hot side of the board uh, the assembly is made up of two different pcbs uh this is where all the power goes through initially we have one of those laminated core type transformers over here pretty small um I must say the PCB, very clean, uh, no flux, no nothing. Very good attention to detail. Electrolytic caps here, surface mount in the middle here. That's the uh, highest rate, that's a 400 volt uh, electrolytic over here. Finally at the top, we have our thigh wrister. Uh, that is a bi-directional BTA 16, 600 B triac, 600 volt, 16 amps. And that is attached to a nice heat sink on the back. Turning things around, here is the uh, switches, the on off for both the soldering iron as well as that hot air station. We have some nice looking heat shrink actually, wasn't expecting that at this price point uh, on all of those connectors um, coming in both from the AC as well as that fuse relay, really nice. Down below we have a high powered resistor as well as a high voltage capacitor, uh, the CBB22, that's a probably polypropylene film style capacitor have some ic's there is no markings on those whatsoever now beside that big capacitor we have another triac that's the vt136s-800 uh, that is manufactured from win and that is a uh, 800 volt 4 amp triac generally speaking though really nice assembly everything is well well put together good quality gauge wire as well nice heat shrink um like what i see i like what i see uh definitely nothing rushed here this was not a friday afternoon job by any means uh looks really good finally at the top here we have a magnet if you can see that right over there in the corner that is the uh, auto sensor shut off for the handheld hot air gun so that's what triggers that uh, slow shutdown all in all, really good. I like what I see. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put everything back together. Come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the JCD 8898. Wow, you know what? This is a really decent little soldering station. I like it. I like it a lot. It's got a lot of good points to it. You know, I was expecting really crap and instead I got a definitely usable piece of hardware. Yeah, that stand is just a little bit cheesy for me. I really wish this would have had a holder on the left-hand side. It just would have made it so much nicer. Uh, it didn't come with instructions either. Big faux pas. Definitely instructions are always nice to have, especially when you've got a lot of hidden features. 
Lots of positives though. I mean, wow, this is really good quality for the price. Like I said, this is 35, 40 bucks. Um, hard to go wrong. It's wall mountable, very neat feature, I gotta say. Also a nice quiet station, no funky humming or sounds going on. It just works and it works really well. What can I say? The JCD 8898 was a pleasant surprise and I'm a happy camper. The JCD 8898 gets a solid 3.5 out of five stars. Don't be shy, don't let Mr. JCD walk on by. Hope you enjoyed this review, everybody. To the next one, keep on testing. <laughs>